We have asked God to bring Tinumbu down because it does not mean well for Nigeria, says Rauf Aregbeshola. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV and compliments of the season and a prosperous 2023 in advance. Let's get into the news. Ahead of the 2023 general election, a Nigerian politician who is the current minister of the Federal Ministry of Interior of Nigeria and also a former governor of Oshun State says that we have asked God to bring down the presidential candidate of the all-progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, because it does not mean well for the people of Nigeria. He further stated that the people of Nigeria should not be surprised, but we have asked God to bring Tinumbu down because everybody knows that it doesn't mean well for the country. His brother is most of the correct, corrupt people that we've ever heard in Oshun State, and Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is blaming me, saying that I am the reason that his brother Isiaka Oyetola lost the election this year, he said. According to him, if Isiaka Oyetola had served well during his first term, I am sure that he would have won the governorship election in Oshun State. Bola Tinumbu is also the same as Oyetola, and that is why we have asked God to bring him down, because I am sure that it does not mean well for the people of Nigeria. So that is, well, what is coming from Rauf Aragbeshola, who has been two-time commissioner, excuse me, commissioner in Lagos State, and also who has been what we term as Tinumbu boy in those days. Rauf Aragbeshola is one of those people who has really enjoyed under the umbrella of Bolame Tinumbu, having served as commissioner, different boards, and also a two-time governor of Oshun State. And people are asking, what would have gone wrong between these two people who were right, it was this Bola Tinubu's right hand man, you know, right from when Bola Metinubu got into office. This is one of his think tank members that right now has fallen out with him. And people are saying, what could be so much of an offense that for him to outrightly come out to say that? He's praying to God to bring Bola Metinubu down. And he's not saying this in coded tones is saying it just the way he says he feels it now let's take a look at some of the comments that people made on this somebody said almighty god will surprise him jagaban will win by the grace of god somebody else said arigwe shola knows his political career is dying and his his relevance is fading away and the fear of unknown is killing him so that's why he resorted to praying and that and that will fail god is not like man how today could have been if killed is ego with patience? Okay, so somebody else said, Ah, Roy Verbeshola saying this. When you are nobody, God used this man to change your life. Or Gwenny, God will never answer your prayer because God don't answer evil people like you. Instead, God will make you to reap what you sow. Even if Tinumbu has offended you, I never believe you have this evil in mind. God will answer you as they answer David's enemies. Hmm. Somebody said, when he appointed you as commissioner in Lagos, he meant well. Then, Abi, God says you and you will reward you accordingly. Um, somebody else said, Aregbe Shola, hmm. so at last, truth don't come out like snow. So, Bath, now from Ocean State. I think saying that Lagosian, no. Lagosian are all unprintable word. Yeah, somebody else said, um... Traitors can never change. They are like leopards. So another said, I'm not sure Arabe Shola can say something like this. Despite all he has enjoyed on that in Umbu's tutelage. Hmm. Another said, um, it's you th that God will bring down. You wish yourself well, but, but you're wishing other people down. Another person said, politicians cannot be trusted. Before you know it, they are going to make up and all these words he says is going to eat them all up. Somebody else said, he, he has the right to express himself when the going doesn't favor him anymore. Okay, so those are just the free printable ones and trust me, there are so many unprintable comments that follow that. And um, the truth of the matter is that, yes, people always fall out, even husband and wife. Family members do fall out. I'm much more political associate. Of course, like I said earlier, Rauf Shola has had it chummy chummy with um, 
Asiwaju from when Asiwaju became the governor of Lagos State. And he has always enjoyed chunky, chunky kind of support. Even when he became the governor of Oshun State, we saw the massive support Ashiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu gave to him. But one thing is also very sure, even between a mentor and a mentee, you know, for Ashiwaji to have picked an interest in him, he must have seen commitment, de dedication, loyalty, and all those things. And also, in the terms of a mentee, sometimes some, some mentors or godfather might try to play the role of God in one's life and really cross a lot of lines of, or boundaries and which might be counterproductive at the end of the day. Whatever the situation may be, these two men have shown, especially Rauf as the one that has shown, is the one reacting and everything, but Ahmed Tinubu has not said a word. And this is not the first time he's saying this. There was a time he said that, that was even before... Um, the re-election bid of Oyetola and um, when he said that people were like oh Rauf was going to work against Oyetola for his second term and then Oyetola could not you know secure his second term and yeah so the governor now is the uncle to David Doe who is popularly called um, the dancing senator before Ademola Adeleke okay so now with what is going on between these two men we just hope that you know it's not going to get worse than this somehow somehow some traditional rulers have tried at some point to intervene in this fight between the two of them but obviously it's not been successful and Rauf has decided to go his own way and for him to say he wants to bring Bola Tinumbu down Bola Ahmed Tinumbu continue to look at him from that point or he rather do what he has to do on the low I think those words are quite harsh coming out publicly to say that you want to bring somebody down. Um, I think there's, there are ways to talk about somebody's distaste for something or irritation at someone without saying you want to bring somebody down. Because if anything should happen to the other person, the sayer of those words might have to, you know, have a rethink about it. What's your thought on this? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And one more time, wishing you a prosperous 2023 in advance. Stay safe out there. God bless Nigeria. And bye for now.